Hey guys, Citizen Zero here, bringing you some Wilson updates, taking a look at their global roadmap. So I was browsing around on their website, and they posted this about three weeks ago or so, I would say, and I really just haven't got around to uh, digging into it for you guys yet, but this is everything that they have uh, planned out for the game or at least most of it. I would assume that there might be some things that they add along the way. Uh, but this is uh, what they have is in terms of their their big plan, what they've already completed, and some of the things that they're testing in the current version of the alpha. Uh, so I'm going to just go through and kind of look at uh, what we've got here in terms of uh, what we might expect from Wilson. Uh, starting at the beginning here, is the story <clears throat> and it looks like they've uh, just about finished writing the story I'm assuming this is the writing because uh, in the game itself uh, you can only play the prologue in act one and I think as far as you will ever be able to play in the alpha and the beta uh, is the prologue in act one I think even after they finish uh, the other acts or side quest or anything like that, they're not going to allow that to be tested or played before. Uh, so I am thinking here that that means they finished at least writing the story up through Act 5, which is a pretty good amount of play. Um, I mean, the prologue in Act 1 took me a few hours, several hours to, to get through. Uh, so if we're looking at maybe about two, three hours per act. You know, this is about a good 20-hour game, maybe, uh, which is it's pretty good. And it has quite a bit of uh, replayability with the, th the features they have. I know later in down here you'll see that they have a hard mode planned, uh, similar to Diablo, where you can go back and replay the game in harder and harder mode. Yeah, so we have hardcore mode is planned, uh, which is... M it, I would imagine something like Diablo that you can go back and replay. Uh, so as far as the quest and dialogues, they've only done uh, the prologue in Act 1. So they have quite a bit of work to do um, in the, the rest of the game. I would imagine that this is going to take them, I don't know, maybe another year or more before this game releases just based on where this roadmap looks at right now um, so it says creatures um, I don't know um, I guess each act is gonna be in a different area which is means they're gonna have a lot of different uh, creatures it looks like the most of the creatures that are available currently are mostly like the the undead and those weird spider looking things um, I know from reading some of their other reports and blogs and their other roadmap, uh, so if you look at their other uh, roadmap, I'm not sure why they have two different roadmaps, but they do. Um, you'll see with uh, the characters and animation, a lot of the characters uh, that they, I'm sorry, not characters, but the, uh, where was it? Well, there was one about the enemies. There's a lot of orc stuff they had planned, and I'm not sure where that was now that I... Um, might be back on the other roadmap here. Uh, they have a lot of stuff about orcs, so I imagine there's going to be a huge amount of orcs that you're going to be fighting in one of the areas. I'm not sure about the other ones. Um... They do not have very many of the environments made yet, so they have many different ones planned in Act 2, 3, 4, and 5. I imagine they're going to have different zones, like probably a wintry zone, probably a desert zone. Uh, in Act 1, you're mostly in forest, so just based on other RPGs, I would imagine you're going to see something like, something like that there, maybe some sort of underground zone or I don't know exactly where they're going with with the story so I mean Diablo had obviously heaven and hell and Diablo 3 don't think this one's gonna go there but there might be some other sort of 
mythical land or I mean there's you get into some weird ruins and stuff in this one so I imagine it's going to have some pretty interesting environments uh, the the skill tree and I'm going to make a completely separate video on breaking this down they've only got the two inner rings completed at this time and then one section from the uh, third ring uh, is in the alpha testing right now uh, so as you can see these are the ones that are already done the Arcanist, Legionary, Guardian, Thief, Hunter, Gladiator, Warden, Elementalist, Maleficent, Assassin, and Trickster and <clears throat> in the other two rings it looks like we're gonna get so I think there's there's four four slots per ring so one two three four five six seven eight yeah that would be your outer two rings right there that you're looking at for <clears throat> the other options that you can rotate around and it looks like some pretty cool stuff your summoner gunner paladin berserker necromancer engineer shadow and conjure um i don't know what the difference between a conjurer and a summer summoner might be but uh, they look like some pretty interesting classes. I don't know how these will mix and match on that wheel. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole other video just looking at these uh, passive skills on the on the passive skills tree, uh, where that's the the rings of fate uh, in the game. The active skills they also do not have very many of those. I in the first video I made on Wilson, I, I showed you all the ones that I had collected so far, which I think were pretty much all of them. Looking at this list that say in alpha testing, um, there are not a whole lot out there yet, but they have quite a few more planned, uh, as you can see. I would say, just from a, a rough glance, there is only about a third of the actual skills uh, that they had planned uh, in the alpha right now uh, which is good that that gives you a lot more I still don't think there's quite enough I think this is something that they should probably consider expanding uh, the number of <clears throat> active skills um, I mean even with what they've got here it doesn't give you a huge variety per class that you're looking at so I don't know again this I don't think this global roadmap is uh, the end all of their plan but it does give you a pretty good idea about where they're going they do have some pretty cool looking spells in here I'm interested to see the animations on these and the effects that they do um, a lot of the ones that they do have done already are the uh, for the for the elementalist or the the mage type character uh, they do have all of the signatures or at least most of the signature spells done uh, and that is a spell that is given for each of the specific classes. So once you select, say, Thief or Legionary or Guardian, you get one of their uh, signature active skills. Uh, and that's the only way to get those is by actually activating that part of the passive skill tree. The rest of them can be picked up in those little skill books uh, that drop on the ground and then upgraded also with those skill books, turning those into that, that currency, whatever that currency is. Um, so that's what they have there for their active skills. Um, healing, uh, that's something that they don't have. I wonder that is going to be more useful if they had more of a... Uh, when they get their multiplayer implemented which I don't think they've got anything done yet for that in alpha but I know it is yeah it's in progress the multiplayer or co-op mode uh, for the game you know, the healing is I really hope they they plan on implementing those side by side because uh, wow that would be useful for co-op um, a lot of the other things they don't have many of the um, the ranger or the archer whatever uh, Let's see, what is there? The Hunter. They don't have many of the Hunter skills really in the Alpha yet, um, or obviously any of the Gunner. Uh, even though they do have some of the weapons for Gunners, I've picked up many uh, guns in the game, and uh, just no skills or anything for them yet. God Hand, that one sounds like a good one. I wonder what that one's going to be. That one's going to be a Gunner skill. 
bullseye. Obviously, that one's going to be a hunter or some sort of ranger. Bola is probably also a ranger. Grenades, combat shots. So a lot of these are their ranger skills. Leap seems more like a gladiator type skill. Same as maybe leap like in Diablo, the barbarian. Chakram, I don't know if that's going to be maybe from the summoner or the conjurer maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Supersonic shot, again, that's probably the ranger or some sort of ranged. Rapid shot, throw, charge. Yeah, so the laser look like some pretty good skills here. Uh, the in-game features, they've got a lot of them done. The arena, the arena is pretty awesome. Um, I hope that they, they make it a little bit harder or expand it in some way. Um, you know, I've, I've completed all of the, all of the challenges in there and it wasn't too hard. Uh, but, um, I imagine, you know, once they complete the game, complete the level cap, Right now it only goes up to 20, so uh, the arena obviously has got to be doable up to that point. Uh, bounty, uh, pretty good. Dungeon run, I actually haven't done the dungeon run yet. I might try to run that today and see see how that is. I don't think they have very many dungeons finished. I think there's one dungeon uh, that they have completed. Um, but I do not remember and like I said I haven't done that one yet so I couldn't tell you how much change there is on that um, you guys can check all of this out yourself um, it's on their their website the link to their their global roadmap if you're really interested in digging into this a little bit more um, they have all of this information they don't put out news or updates very often uh, I imagine just at this stage in the development there isn't a whole lot for them to to go out and say, you know, we've completed, or I think they're being pretty tight-lipped about when things are coming out, just because um, some developers like to give specific dates when things come out, and then they always miss those target dates, and then their fan base gets upset, and then I think they're just trying to avoid all that, and just, they're trying to be as transparent as possible without getting anybody's hopes up with this, this roadmap. There are no dates or expected time uh, that these will be finished in development. Um, they do have a lot of great ideas in the game. Um, I imagine if you get on the foreign forums and give them some suggestions or things you'd like to see, I, I imagine they at this point in the development they could probably start thinking about those things. Uh, it looks like they've got most of their bases covered here. And they've got some things that aren't in other RBGs like pets. I It's not in, well, yeah, I guess they did have pets in Diablo, but the pets were kind of worthless. Um, I mean, other than going around and picking up gold for you, that's about that's about all they really did. I mean, they looked pretty cool. Hopefully the pets in this game do a little bit more than that. Um, apocalyptic form, so I guess you can sort of morph as you evolve your character. That's interesting. There are no shrines in the game yet. I guess these shrines will be, again, like Diablo, that will give you some sort of buff, temporary buff. Uh, crafting, there is no crafting. Uh, there is housing, and I will do a video showing you uh, the housing system. It's pretty interesting. It's a little bit hard to use, but um, uh, maybe a little bit better than... Now, nah, I would say it's about the same as Path of Exile. Path of Exile, though, isn't exactly a house. It's like a, you're just outside uh, building stuff. Uh, this is a house and um, it's got some interesting stuff in there. Never really understood the point of, of housing in some of these games. It doesn't seem like it serves much of a purpose. Um, like in uh, the old, uh, well not old, but even the, the current, the Final Fantasy uh, MMOs, like the housing at least serves as a place to uh, craft or storage or anything like that, whereas these housing just seem like a, I don't know, an extra thing to do. It's interesting. I mean, and uh, the the tile sets that they have in there are nice, and the, the items you can place in there so far are good. Uh, they obviously have more to do with it, but 
I'll show you that in a in an upcoming video as well. Uh, but there's there's kind of what they have planned for the game, guys. Um, like I said, just from looking at this roadmap, I would say they've got at least a year or or more of development left. Uh, my guess is on the more. So I would not expect this game until probably 2019. Late 2019 uh, is is where I would guess that this thing is probably going to land. Uh, but who knows? Uh, like I said, the, the alpha right now, the parts that they have actually in the alpha are really smooth uh, and look really good. So... Uh, it could it could move along faster than I would expect, uh, but there's the roadmap, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed some of that update on the Wilson Lords of Mayhem. Take it easy.